Yes, welcome. Today we are going to be learning about the executive. We are going to be learning about the word executive, the executive arm of government. We say that there are three major arms of government, three arms, three organs of government. And those three are what? The legislature, the executive, and the word judiciary. The legislature, the executive, and the word judiciary. In the previous class, we learned about the legislature, isn't it? Now, today, we are going to be learning about the executive. The executive is the organ of government responsible for the implementation, execution, or enforcement of laws. You understand? The executive is the organ of the government that is responsible for the implementation, execution, and enforcement of laws, policies, and directives which are given by the legislative arm of the government. Is that clear? So when the laws are made by the legislature, you understand? It is the duty of the executive to make sure that the laws are what enforced, to make sure that these laws are what implemented, to make sure that these laws are what executed. And the main man in the executive is the president, I hope you know, and the governor. So it is their duty to implement the laws. Implement the laws. So we can say that the executive, this is the organ of the government responsible for implementation, comma, execution, comma, and enforcement, enforce what? Enforcement of the laws, policies, and directive, directives made by the legislative. Um, of government. So the executive is the organ or the arm of government that is responsible with the implementation, execution, and enforcement of the laws, policies, and directives that are made or given by the word legislative. Legislative arm of government. Is that clear? Is that clear? Now we're going to look at the functions and importance of the executive. What are the functions and importance of the executive arm of government? What are the functions and importance? Number one is that they do what? Execution of the law. That's their number one function. They execute the laws. The executive arm of the government executes the laws. How do they do this? When the legislature says that any human being that kills a fellow human being must die, that's the law they pass in the National House of Assembly, isn't it? How would they enforce it if somebody in the neighborhood goes and kills another person? What, what will happen? It is the duty of the executive to make sure that that law is was enforced by making sure that the police goes and arrest that person, is it not? And um, maybe make sure that the person faces life imprisonment or firing squad, isn't it? So it's the executive that uses one of his tools, like the police or the military, to ensure that anything the legislature says in the House of Assembly comes to existence. Is that clear? So it is their duty to ensure those things. If the House of Assembly says that every part of Nigeria should get 20% or so and so percent from the oil that Nigeria sell abroad. What happens? It's the duty of the executive to get that money and share it, is it not? So the executive executes the law, whereas the House of Assembly or the legislature makes the word law. Is that clear? Number two function is giving assent to 
bills. Giving assent towards bills. Giving assent towards bills. Is that clear? When the legislator in their chambers, like the National Assembly, the Senate, or the House of Representatives, when they make a law, or when they make a law, you understand, when they pass a bill, that bill has not become a law until the president does what signs it. Until the president does what signs it. Until the president gives assent to the bill. The president gives assent to the bill by doing what? By signing it. By signing it into law. By doing what? By signing it into law. So that's another function of the executive. Then another function of the executive is military function. Is the what? Military function. It is the duty of the executive to maintain, to maintain the armed forces. You understand? So that any country that wants to be aggressive to Nigeria, Nigeria can do what? Fight. It is the duty of the executive to give orders. To tell our military, go and fight these people. Go and protect our borders. Go and protect the local governments that are here in Nigeria. Is that clear? So it is the duty of the executive to ensure that the military are doing their work. To ensure that the, world, the military are doing their work. It is also the duty of the executive to ensure law and order by using the police and other apparatus that is, it has at its disposal. Is that clear? So it is the duty of the military, the, the executive to perform military functions in the state. Make sure that our army are well equipped to fight terrorism. You understand? To fight any form of aggression that might come our way. It is the duty of the military to ensure. You understand? And you know that the president, who is the number one man in the executive council, is also the commander in chief of the armed forces, is it not? So it is his duty to give orders, give our military orders. Say, go and fight, go and protect. Go and make sure that this place is in order. Is that clear? So the military, uh, the executive performs a military function. Functions and importance of executive. Number one, execution of law. They make sure that the laws that are passed in by the legislature are executed. Number two, giving assent to bills by signing the bills. Number three, performing military what functions. Number three, performing what military what functions. Performing military work functions. Is that clear? Thank you.